In his previous life, Kuhn Meinderhout was the proprietor of a construction company. He's been raising pigeons since he was five years old. At the time, the pigeon room was in a German bunker in the dunes near Westkapel. Kuhn frequented that bunker since he liked hanging out with those pigeon fanciers. He requested pigeons and was given two, and Kuhn was too wealthy for the king. He became a donor to the pigeon club at the age of five. He did not become a member, because membership was more expensive. He was only permitted to fly his two pigeons on training flights as a donor. He went on a school trip with his class when he was approximately seven years old. Kuhn packed the two pigeons in a blue band box and unpacked them during the school excursion. Kuhn didn't get much out of the entire school trip because he was preoccupied with his pigeons all day. Kuhn used to play with his pigeons at Westkapel until 2001, when he and Ellie moved to Kutkirk soon before Christmas. Kuhn began working with the youngsters from the new address in 2002. He belongs to the PV de Luckboat in East and West Soburg, a flying club with roughly 20 members. Before relocating to Kutkirk, Kuhn sold his complete flying crew to Hans Eigerkamp and his sons from Brummen, who were extremely successful. Hans Eigerkamp and his sons competed in the sports class category speed and finished first with their V-Power, at the Olympiad in Ostend. V-Power was bred from two Kuhn Minderhout directs. Kuhn has access to a wonderful garden shed in a fantastically gorgeous garden that Ellie and Kuhn have put out themselves and spend a lot of their leisure time in. The loft spans 18 meters and is separated into five pieces. Aviaries are in front of the loft. The loft's entrance door faces south. Kuhn wants to compete in races up to 700 kilometers after having tremendous success in speed and middle distance races. In 1991, while looking for pigeons for this discipline, Kuhn met Gabby Vandenabiel in Dentergem, Belgium. He had been tracking his scores for three years before it had to happen. He purchased 12 pigeons from the greatest breeders at the time, 1991. They were played because they were not the pigeons seen by Kuhn's parents. Remember, the kids he was playing with had only tossed a pen and were still squeaking. However, after six races, Kuhn was convinced that he had made the right decision. They won four first prizes and first place twice. A brother of Mr. Bazal was purchased at Brokes Van Hees in Oud Turnhout. This was crossed with Vandenabiel pigeons, and the result was fantastic. Kuhn created his own strain of pigeons in 2008, which can win top awards from 100 to 700 kilometers. Kuhn has also bred the Wittenbeck Times Tours to him, the Wittenbeck Times Blau 295, the Wittenbeck Times 388 and the Steer Times Shadow Ruxtuif, with Gabby. Furthermore, pigeons are invariably exchanged between these two fairies. When he buys fresh pigeons, he normally buys a few of the loft's bests. Kuhn competes in all races, from sprint to one day long distance. He enjoys seeing a pigeon return home after, say, 10 hours of flight time. He doesn't strive to peak on a few flights, but he constantly tries to be present. One feature of Kuhn's current pigeon stock is that they have the best plumage you could ask for, oily and velvety. Kuhn practices the classic widowhood with cocks. It's so easy and you don't need much time for it. Kuhn plays widowhood with the hens. He tried it out with five hens and that went more than excellent. The widowers are loose in their loft. They sit quietly. Only the yearling widowers get to see their hen for half an hour in the first three to four flights before basketing. After that, no more is shown, and Kuhn only must turn the breeding bowl over. The old pigeons are neither lit nor darkened. Kuhn did darken and illuminate the youngsters the previous season, but the lighting is unnecessary because they also hold the deck feathers if they haven't knocked the third pin. The pigeons are bathed once a week. Kuhn prefers to bathe them on Monday, but that is entirely dependent on the weather. Throughout the season, the pigeons are fed the same food. Vercel Lagas Buyers Premium and Champion Plus Blend. Kuhn feeds them a little more towards the end of the week. They get everything they want the last two days before basketing, 
but nothing remains because the rest is taken away after about 15 minutes. To quench hunger, the last feeding on the day of basketing occurs in the morning. After a day of being fed in a basket, the pigeons will want to eat and drink on their own. The widowers train twice a day, from 7 to 8 a.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. Kuhn doesn't even move the birds a meter. Except for the one-day long-distance pigeons, the pigeons are placed in the basket once a week. The flying crew will have been divided by this point. Kuhn only treats the pigeons for yellow and head problems, with Ronfrey Jambazin. He never goes to the vet, but if something goes wrong, he phones Otmal veterinarian J.C.M. Konings, who is also a pigeon fancier, and he sends something. Following a flight, the pigeons receive electrolytes and amino acids, Avi Farm and Mum from Ronfried, and vitamins Jervet W from Ronfried once a week. Gardening and cycling with his wife Ellie are also among his favorite pastimes. He turns it into a sport to get the most out of the least amount of effort, excellent performances, triumphs or chain results that captivate the imagination.